home. My name is Mr. Bloom and I'd like to come to see you soon. I'm out on the road, you see, here and there, so that we can get together and have some fun. I'll help you out if there's work to be done. So where is it you like to go? Call me up and let me know. What is it you like to do? I'll pop along and do it too. Cities, towns and countryside. I can travel far and wide. I'm all about and everywhere. I'm here and there. Here and there. I'm here and there. Hey, hello there, Tiddlers. How are you tiddling? <laughs> it's Mr. Bloom here. Do you know? I love going here and there, meeting you tiddlers and finding out what you like to do where you live. Perhaps you might like to go exploring or feed the ducks at the pond. Or maybe just playing with your friends in the park. Ooh, hey, eh? it's the root finder. Wonder who it might be. Hello, Mr. Bloom. I'm Jasmine. This is my dad. He works at the lifeboat station. Here's the lifeboat station. It's my favourite place to go. These are my friends, Thomas, Rosie and Larissa. Their dads work here too. The lifeboat launches through there. We love the lifeboat station and we want to show you around. Come and see Mr Blue! Hey, this sounds fantastic. I'd love to see that. And uh, are you going to come too? Well, come on then. <sighs> Off we go. Whereabouts will I end up next? Let's put my root finder to the test. It could be a beach, a village or a city, museum or a school, a garden so pretty, a church or a station, a river or town. I just can't wait till you show me around. Tiddlers, I'm on my way. So where am I today? Norfolk! Mmm, I do like to be beside the seaside. And you know what? I reckon I'll find loads of things here for my logbook. First things first, I need to find those tiddlers. I wonder where they got to. Hey, can you hear that sound? Oh, hey, it's Jasmine and her dad. Hello there. Here they are. Hello there, Jasmine. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hi, Mr Bloom. And that's a fine bike, that. Is it fun to ride? Yeah. And you know what? Seeing you on your bike, it makes me want to ride one. <laughs> but I haven't got my bike here today. We've bought a bike for you. It's over there. Oh, that's kind of you. Thank you. Let's go and see what this bike can do, eh? Ooh, it's very nice. Try and keep up, Mr Bloom. <laughs> I will do. You're coming too. Hey, I'll catch you up. Hey! Now, uh, Jasmine, where are the rest of those tiddlers? Over there! Hello, Mr. Blue! Hey, hello! <laughs> hey, look at you three! I tell you what, you stand there to make a great photo. OK, tiddlers, say! Cauliflower cheese! Cauliflower cheese! Ha <laughs> ha! I'll put that in my logbook later on. Now, Tiddlers, I'd love to know more about this lifeboat station. We'd like to show you around, Mr. Bloom. Ooh, well, that'd be great. Come on, let's go! Oh, what does a boat like this do, Jasmine? It goes out of sea and rescues people. Our dads work on here. Really? And what do they do? They have different jobs to do. Oh, is that so? Right then, Larissa, what happens here at the helm? 
This is where they drive. I see. So this is where they drive the boat. And how do they do it? With the steering wheel. I see. And I'm wondering, in the middle of the wheel for my compo car, I've got something that makes a noise. A horn. A horn. But it's not there. It's over here. I see. There it is. There's the horn. It's very loud. Is it really loud? What type of noise does it make? Does it go quack? Meep. Really? Meep. Let's make a noise like the horn then. Here we go. One, two, three. Meep. <laughs> There is a lot more to see on this boat down below. Hey, hello there, you two. Oh, Thomas, who's this? Um, my dad. Hello, Dad. Hello, Mr. Bloom. So, uh, Thomas, what does your dad do? He drives the boat. What? So you can drive the boat down here as well as up there? Yeah. Right, I see. And uh, what are you wearing? Are you listening to some music? No. No, I'm only being daft. No, what are they? It's for talking to other people. What, on the boat? Yeah. Right. And other boats too. I understand now. Yeah, because the sea, if it's big and rough, it can be very loud. So, if you want to talk to each other on the boat or on another boat, if you wear a headset, you can be heard. Hey, and Rosie, what's this here? A compass. Really? Now, what does a compass do? It tells the boat which way to go. That's right. And for a lifeboat, that's ever so important. They need to know where they're going, don't they? Yeah. Wow, look at this. So, uh, who sits on these seats here, Jasmine? People who get rescued from the sea. Oh, and how many people can fit down here? Forty. Wow. And uh, is there anything that the people are given when they come down here? A blanket like that one. All right. And why might they be wanting a blanket? Because they might have been cold from the sea. So, Jasmine, is there anything else to see on this boat? There's loads to see. All right, then. Up we go. You coming? So I've just seen something on this big boat, and that is a teeny tiny boat down there. Why have we got a little boat? Because if the big boat doesn't fit in, the, in any little gaps, that boat goes out and fits in that gap. Brilliant. Oh, hang on. Oh, look. It's the route finder. Now I think it wants to show us something. The volunteers at the RNLI charity work on different sized boats. There are big boats with three floors as tall as a house. Here, look how fast that lifeboat is going. The speed of a boat is measured in knots. Lifeboats can travel miles and miles across the sea to help people. <laughs> how amazing is that? Wow, there are loads of different types of lifeboats, aren't there, Tiddlers? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And there's one more boat to show you, Mr Bloom. Well, that sounds good. Do you want to lead the way? Come on. All right, here we go. Wow. Right then, Jasmine, what do you do here? I help Daddy and I'm his little helper. Ah, well, I bet Daddy's happy about that. Um, what type of jobs do you do? I put that rope in and out. All right, make sure there's no knots and things like that. Yeah. What does that rope do? It's the sea anchor. The sea anchor. Hmm, a very important rope. Um, uh, do you think we could help you tidy it up? Yeah. All right then, so let's pick up this rope. Okay, and then let's feed it up to Jasmine. Ooh, you got a big knot coming there, Rosie. Can you get it undone? That's it. There we are. Get them out. Get them out. Oh, here comes the sea anchor. There you are, Chris. You get that stowed. Good job, Tiddlers. Would you like this? What, as a present? Yeah. Oh, that's very kind of you. And here, I could put this in my lockbook, couldn't I? Now, um, are there any other jobs that I could help out with, Jasmine? Yeah, you can help us take the boat outside. Sure, I'd love to help.
The crew is testing the board to make sure the engine is working properly. Doing a good job. Yeah. Hey, hello again, Chris. Hello, Mr. Bloom. I've got this present for you to say thank you for the day. Fantastic, that's very good. And I know where I'm going to put it <laughs> in my logbook. There we go. There's our lifeboat. Oh, and that was fun this morning. Do you remember that? <laughs> that's when I met the rest of the tiddlers. And, hey, look, that's the knot that Jasmine gave me. Very clever, isn't it? And, you know, all of these things will help me remember when I was a helper at the Lifeboat House, too. Hey, why don't you go here and there and find out about the special places where you live? We weren't here! We weren't Why don't you go to the CBB's website, where you can make your very own here and there logbook too? Hey, what a fantastic day! Well, have you tiddlers had fun? Yeah! yeah? Well, I've had a cracking time, and thanks for showing me around the lifeboats and whatnot, but uh, you know what? It's time I hit the road. So, um, you join me again soon when I'll be... Here That's right. See you later. Bye-bye! to go call me up and let me know what is it you like to do i'll pop along and do it too cities towns and countryside i can travel far and wide i'm all about and everywhere